pretend like that never happened. I love when the sun comes in my apartment this way. Perfect time of day. It's the simple things. Hey loves, it's A back on your screen with another vlog. Hope you're all well. This one is probably gonna cover two weeks. I don't know, I'm still in the middle of editing, but I wanted to hop in real quick and do an intro with you. It's currently Sunday the 19th. Where did the month go? This year in its entirety, whew, but while I was editing the first half, I realized that I'm starting to get back into the rhythm and flow. Not routine necessarily, because I still work out every day. That hasn't changed, but just for the psyche, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this one. If you do, don't forget to tap the like and let's get into it. Wow, that was surprisingly easy. I always have a little bit of anxiety when I do a mobile pickup for anything because I can't see my name unless I zoom in. And yes, people were staring at me, but at least there's an A and it's easy to see. I got a pistachio latte with regular milk, which I never do. It's not bad though. I'm just not big on cow's milk. I think it's weird. But this latte is where it's at. Loves. You saw that I went to Starbucks earlier and I finally got my gel taken off and she cut my nails. There's two girls working on it and one of them's like, oh my gosh, these can't be your real nails. And when they filed in and soaked, they realized they were, but they were so thin, they had to cut them. So we're starting all over again. I feel nakey, nakey, nakey. I want to give my nails a break. So a break they shall get. Look what just arrived. One of my Patreons, hey, if you're watching, gave me a subscription to Scentbird as a gift. So thoughtful. They know I'm fragrance obsessed. It feels so weird touching things without nails. Ta-da! So this is how it comes. I just washed my hands and my nail beds were stinging. That's how you know. Never heard of this before, but my cousin said it's really good. There was a little glitch where if someone from the States gives me a Canadian a gift card, it doesn't apply on the Canadian website. So when I emailed them, they're like, we'll honor it for you. And then they sent this because I didn't put this in the queue. The ones that I have in the queue, I'll put up on the screen over here. So you can see what my fragrance type is like, but let's see what this is saying. I have no idea what the notes are. Where's my phone? Because maybe I should zoom in on the card and see. I like that they put a picture. I can't see it. This one's got mandarin, peach nectar, water lily, coconut. Mmm, you know I love me some coconut. Skin musk. Oh, okay. So not musk, but skin musk. Something I definitely wouldn't have picked on my own. So I'll check in with you tomorrow and let you know how I like. This container is interesting though. Oh, to keep it safe, okay. That's actually quite smart, because if you want to travel but switch it out. I see you, Sember. You know, a blind girl is gonna know with her nose, so Sember, if you're watching this, that's actually pretty smart. There's so many things nowadays, like I remember when Uber was first created, I'm like, who's gonna go in some stranger's car? Oh no, this nail broke already. It hasn't even been five minutes. I still can't type properly. Like, what is this? And this is why I hate texting. What is it saying? I don't mean to be dramatic, but I literally hate texting. It just reminds me of how much vision I've lost. Ooh, fun day. Ooh, that was dangerous. Oh, ooh. This this way. Here. I'm gonna put that in just yet because it's gonna light up. I don't want to start just now. I did a little good work this morning. Oh, I feel like this is not angled properly. Do you know? Love. Sorry to be checking in so late. Hopefully you can hear me with the traffic, but I just finished my first yoga class in what, three years? I know how class went. 
and why I'm checking in with you so late when I get home. First yoga class, class class, not following my app in over three years. I stopped going to Y yoga before the pan began. I just felt like it was a lot of the same and I wanted to take a break and save so I could travel and travel I did. Thank God I did three trips in one year and no trips in three years. Let me turn this off so you can actually see. Remember that whenever I'm talking to you with that light on, which I usually have on at night, it reflects back and then I cut out so much footage when I'm talking to you guys about funny things, silly things, serious things. Class was so much fun. I was having a day, which is why you haven't seen me until now. So I was excited to go to this yoga class and I thought I timed it right. I can't blame the TTC, it was all me. I got there three minutes late and normally yoga studios want you there 10 minutes earlier, not at all. But she was so welcoming and warm and she's like, I'll take you in, it's okay. And she explained the type of class I signed up for. I don't know if you can hear the sound of the background. That's the soup I made earlier. The reason why I was a little late, I just turned it off when I left home and I turned it right back on because the studio was literally around the corner. Let it air dry. I've been looking for something new to do. Every month I want to get into something different, whether it's a class, a course, volunteering, just something different. Too much of the same makes you go insane. So anyways, I'm gonna have my dinner tonight. Edit my pods. Thank God I filmed them. Well, not filmed. I recorded them earlier today. As much as I'm relaxed, I'm also equally drained. All right, so I'll see you guys hopefully tomorrow morning. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Still on my home line, or personal line, I should call it. One of my monitors right here. I guess he doesn't have it. But they're finally delivering my big monitor. Pardon how rude of me. Happy Tuesday. How are you? I got a lot going on. I'm having my breakfast really late, like embarrassingly late. Am I the only one that flips my waffle in the coaster to make it extra crisp and warm on both sides? I don't know. It's just a thing that I've gotten into, especially since they're frozen, frozen. I'm happy today's a mild day, so I can have the door open and get a little light in here. I still can't believe my life this year. How did they think it was acceptable to put an inside door with no window? The old one had a window and was meant to be a balcony door. Anyway, I had to clean up this place. Let's focus on the present and stay positive because I may not believe in law of attraction, but I do believe that once you get in a funk, it's harder to get out, so it's better to stay out when you can. I'm gonna make the prettiest yogurt parfait. I was talking to a family member about my birthday, which isn't until November, and how she celebrates the entire month. I can't do that. Scorpio season is packed back. So once my birthday's done, it's another one. It's literally another person's birthday the day after mine and my dad's birthday is. Is it normal to say is if he's not here anymore? Because it still is or was his birthday the day before mine. Some things I'll never get used to. Well, oh life. Okay, back to positive. I'm going to make a really pretty yogurt parfait and waffles. My face feels really dry. It's probably this, what did I put on today? Was it salicylic or ferulic acid? Um, I put some acid on there to blast out the last bit of blemishes. These strawberries, I don't want to put them all in the parfait because I'm rude. I realized my memory was full even though there was only two clips on it. Something's going on with this camera and I noticed it has a chip. <sighs> Let it go. Sun is shining. Don't let the sunlight fool you though. It is far from warm. I'm gonna put on my real winter coat when we go to yoga later today, but I just wanted to go for a walk. Yeah, I'm just trying to enjoy the weather and hope spring comes soon. I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. I've been trying this perfume since I showed it to you. Don't know if that was in this vlog or the last one, but I'm obsessed. At first I was like, you know, the peach is all right, but it's not really my scent. I don't know what changed. Blind problem number seven. It is really hard to write zoomed in looking through a screen. I get into the habit of not leaving my daily journal for at night when I'm tired so that my reflection is more of a true reflection of how I feel throughout the day. Not me making this how many hours ago and forgetting it in the fridge. Well, actually the freezer, so now it is stone gold. One thing I love about this apartment is how the sun shines at this time of day. It's so beautiful. 
pretend like that never happened. This is so unhealthy to have right before a yoga class, but hey. I don't know if you can hear them, but the people back there cooking sound like they're having the time of their lives. I just asked to take me out for coffee. Like, no. This is good. Afternoon loves, I'm gonna try this. For the first time, and let's see, I'm not gonna put all of it in. I'm mixing it with orange juice, mango, spinach, and a banana. Why do I feel like this vanilla protein powder is gonna be weird with the orange juice? Do you usually put protein with orange juice? Cause I usually put it with oat milk, but hey, today's the day we try something different. Just a little bit, cause I don't even know. The next thing is, I've never tried this before, so I don't know if this vegan protein is going to be super gritty. Sometimes they taste off, other times they're so chalky. Thank God I'm not actually a vegan, I just pick and choose when I want to. I don't have a yoga class tonight, I didn't get to talk to you guys about it. I was so namaste when I got home, that I forgot to sit down and chat with you about my experience. Just a little bit. Listen to me trying to remix 50 Cent. Don't let me forget it. I need to add this artiste. Oh my gosh, my nails are embarrassing me. I need to add this artiste to Instagram and you should too because you got to show support and also put your money where your mouth is. That's one thing that is missing from the culture. I already donated it today. So what are we going to write in our journal today? Today is the 8th, right? Yeah, because I already made the mistake of saying I need something for the 10th. And they said Friday, I said, no, tomorrow, today's the ninth. Nope, it's not, it's the eighth. It's not like back in the day when you would see it on the chalkboard, especially in French class, you'd have to say, aujourd'hui is uh, Judy, the blah, blah, blah. I don't know, my friend sucks. Point of the story is, what's my intention for the day now that it's half done? Good question. I was I even talking to you guys for five minutes? I went here to check just so I could see before I went out for a walk. The amount of requests, I'm not going anywhere. We'll go for a walk after the day is done. Ah, I think everything is zero except for the cost center, which has changed. Why is there a zero five though? Yeah. To make sure that it actually went through. Riddle me this, who goes on a lunch break walk at 3.30? Good thing I came back with a couple minutes to spare before my next meeting at four. And my brother surprised me. Well, he came to pick up something. I didn't know he was gonna stop by today, but it worked out perfectly because I walked with him for the short little time that I had. Oh, wow. Not my shirt falling down. Maybe I should wear the straps. I just decided to switch it up today and just wear it like a tube top, but it's a no, huh? We still got a couple minutes. <laughs> Cause that would be me. That would be me. As if my neighbors don't already think I'm crazy because they know this is a bachelor unit. So they're probably like, who is this girl talking to all day every day? But you anything, someone's having technical difficulties because usually they start on time. Starbucks is giving away free treats today. Do you see this? This is one of their best. Afternoon, how are you? Hi. They'll probably give it a couple more minutes. I'm never the one to end it. I should probably tell you guys what I do. I purposely haven't yet, if you haven't noticed. There's one reason why I won't, which I feel like that is a story time in itself. Yeah, my like You saw the tech difficulties, that happens all the time, that's fine. But you would think in that time, I would have figured out that when I'm saying, hi guys, how are you? No one's answering me. I'm thinking, whatever, because you know, every job has that one. So at the end, I'm like, hola, 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 I didn't agree to this. For me to realize that if I ever have a conference call, this needs to be up and stuff. Or maybe I'm not ordering speakers or a headset for this. That's that's too much. Now that that's done. He wanted to correct something about her fucking body, and I'm not. Thank God I her. love my body because the cost. Literally and figuratively is too high. Smaller. That's the message. So if you're getting the snatched message, up, I hope I can serious. clarify it for you. These ones, not today. Morning, loves. Happy Thursday.
Am I the only one who puts the shoes back in the box with the stuffing, or is that due to me? Today's an in-office day. We actually have what they like to call a town hall, where there's going to be a lot more people in office than there usually is. And I forgot. As soon as I hopped in the shower last night, I was like, I was supposed to straighten my hair. It's sad to say, curls in the corporate world is still a thing. There's gonna be a lot of people I've never seen before, which means, well, it doesn't always mean that they haven't seen me. I don't really wanna have it be the topic of conversation if you know what I mean. So there's that, that's okay. Then after work, I'm gonna go and get some more biotin. So we're gonna go back to Herbs and Nutrition. So if you've never seen my vlogs before, it is the best supplement store in Toronto. Do I have everything? I hope I do. I need to get there early because there's some things I need to do and set up for that did not work yesterday. I feel like I'm forgetting something. I'm okay. Oh, AirPods. Let me just put these in. And gotta have that mask. I'm not playing with these people in the subway. They're always sneezing and coughing and hacking and smoking. Too much. Did I mention elevators give me anxiety? Another day done. How much, how much walking around I would be doing today? Today was not a heel day. Or point your right hand and your left arm out. Circle the low back with your hands. And exhale. Allow your head to be here. For yoga in the morning, I just feel like it's the perfect way to really get into your body at the beginning of the day, but when I don't have time, best believe I'm gonna do it at night. So about today, because I started talking as I was unpacking, I'm like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Today was a good day, but it was chaotic. And you know, I only have myself to blame since really and truly, I should have been prepared. That's all I'm going to say. But it was really good. We had Thai for lunch. I have some leftovers in the fridge because no one wanted to take it. And my manager is like, don't let this food go to waste. And you know me, you know me. So I got red curry on deck, but I'm so full. I don't think I'm having that tonight. And then we ordered a creme brulee cake. It wasn't bad. It was actually pretty good. Very sweet though. I don't know if it's because I haven't had a lot of sweets lately, but it seemed really, really sweet, but it was still good. And then we had a meeting. Oh, let me tell you about this meeting though. Well, I can't tell you about the details, nor would you guys care. It might be interesting to you, especially if you have Stargast disease. Let me know if this happens to you too. Sometimes when you're looking at someone in the front, my team likes to sit in the back of the back, like at the back of class, back in the day. I'm straining so much to see, I don't know why I still do it. Like you would think after 12 years I'd get used to it. But no, I'm straining to see the speakers and in trying so hard to see, I can't see their face at all, it's making my eyes fatigued. So if you didn't know any better and you looked over, you probably think like, oh, this girl's falling asleep. No, I'm literally resting my eyes and it's so funny. <laughs> Since I've heard people use that as an excuse before for falling asleep, but literally I'm wide awake, but my eyes are so tired from trying to see. I just have to be like this for like three seconds to open my eyes up again, because if I don't, it really starts to hurt. I don't know if it's just a me thing or if that's normal for people with Stargardt, so you can let me know. All right, well, practice is done. I gotta turn this timer off. Otherwise, I'm fugazi with keeping on track. I didn't post to TikTok or Instagram today, but that's okay. I mean, I did the last two days, which was better than the last two months. Guys, soon time. Morning. No, 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 no. This can't be real life. When I first looked outside, I thought, oh wow, it's really foggy today. Then I was like, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait. Dang it, I told you, we have a couple warm days. It feels like spring's on the way and then the snow comes right back. I live in Canada. No, 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 no. Am I seeing that right? No, 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 no. I never thought the day would come when I have to zoom into snow to make sure it's snowing. Life legally blind. Thank you. She made 
this so good. It's a sugar cookie with latte. I didn't even know if they still had this here. Okay, riddle me this. Why is it that I get hit on when I'm the most bundled up and busted? It does not make sense to me. I mean, my hair is covering 90% of my face. Whoop, snowflake in the eye. Oh Lord. I had to go out in the store to catch a few things and then I gotta switch real quick, throw my yoga mat in here. I already got my setup ready for the evening sweet potato because you cannot make chicken dumpling soup without the sweet potato some people put pumpkin others put squash i stay with the sweet potato it's my treat because i'm not supposed to have sweet potato the same way i'm not supposed to have mango and if you don't know check out my nutrition and star arts video bananas and i'm sure you're like wait where's your oat milk you always run and get oat milk that ish was nine dollars. It can stay in the store. Receipt. I gotta put in my Excel spreadsheet. I love this coat. It's literally the tropics up in here. Whenever they have strawberries on sale, I open this carton with no shame. Okay, let me take my coat off first. You know when they put things on sale, it's usually because they need to have new inventory come in, something's rotten, or the promotion will get people to come in and buy more products. I took one marketing one-on-one -on -one class and I swear I know everything. You probably hate me for this, but I don't care. And I'll actually squeeze through and I switch it out. I don't do the most. It's not like I'm taking three strawberries out of this carton and putting four from the next one. I literally do one for one, even though this carton's looking a little empty. That's another thing. Sometimes when they do things on sale or special, they give you a smaller quantity, but I don't want them to think I'm a thief. So when they check the cameras, all they're gonna see is I take out one rotting strawberry for another fresh one. I'm gonna wash these in apple cider vinegar just now anyway. So let's get on to making the soup. I'm not gonna show you because I've done it 10 million times before. You know, you know how that goes. It's great grandma's recipe. I should go visit her sometime soon. She's 95 guys. That's crazy. Actually, she's not. Let me not rush her. She'll be 95 at the end of April. Can you imagine the things she's seen? I don't even know, like, what year is that? 1928? Or am I... I think that's... No, that doesn't sound right. What the heck will I say or you say if we're in our rocking chairs at 95? That is great. Mm-mm-mm. Better than Campbell's. Now you can see me. <laughs> Yo, what is your speed? I don't know what that's man, that street is dangerous. 30 miles per hour. You have a seatbelt on? So tired. Happy Sunday, everyone. We're here. We're just in what? Walmart. <laughs> Getting a couple goodies. A couple essentials, I should say, because the girl needs some toilet paper. Okay. I'm trying to find some on sale. Cashmere at 24. Is it that one? No. So it's gone? Because this is not it. No, it's sold up. Yeah, usually yeah, I get... These ones for 15 bucks. Is that a good sale? Uh, what does it say? Usually, 14, usually 17 bucks. 14, so $2 off? Yeah. I guess $2 is better than nothing. Bye-bye. Mm. Got my onions, got my ginger, right. cherry tomato, and that is it. They don't have bags here anymore. Yeah, it's like, did you bring any? Mm -hmm. Look, I get five star service over here. And they even punch things in for me because I can't see. This is the part where I always struggle. Before you get to Yorkville? Oh, yeah, there's that, yeah. Seven West is expensive? What? Yeah. I need to get like laundry detergent and toilet paper. So, my stepdad and my brother came with and they helped me scan everything because you know, <laughs> there's that. Yeah, man. Walmart's not cheap no more. <sighs> yeah, I know. No frills is a little cheaper, but the Asian store you're talking about is way, way cheaper. Well, 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 well. So this is what $140 gets you in the six? Am I tripping? It must be the chicken. I mean, I also got toilet paper, 
It was like $25, but it was a big pack. And uh, I don't know how much laundry detergent was because I forgot to ask. Let's just focus on the positives over here because I am just so grateful that I was able to spend some time with the fam and they also helped me. My stepdad lives literally, I wish I was exaggerating, an hour and 45 minutes away from here. And we went a half an hour away from here to go to the Walmart and pick up my brother on the way. And it was a godsend. I cannot say it any other way, being visually impaired and when I go shopping alone and having to zoom in to everything to make sure I'm seeing the right price, the right item, the right flavor, the right weight, I don't want to shop by myself anymore. Today was a treat for me. The only thing is when you shop alone, you don't feel like you're on somebody else's clock. And I hate that. Like I didn't feel pressed or rushed, thank God. But I put pressure on myself because I know I'm with two other people who have two other timelines. I don't like to window shop, whether I'm going for clothes or tech or food. I like to go in to buy with the intention to buy. Oh, my mom got me some goodies, guys. I have to show you those too. Perfect example of how hard it is to shop while blind. I thought I picked up my favorite curl product of all time, but I picked up the same brand, but the wrong product. No slip or something like that. Basically, you use it before you actually do your hair to get all the tangles out. So it helps because my ends have never been so healthy. So it was serendipitous. That's how you say it, right? What I really wanted was their leave-in conditioner because my hair gets dry dry. My mom got me this. And then this is my new favorite. I actually got this as part of a PR package and Shane Moisture reached out to me recently. I'm like, can you run more to me? But I, my mom beat them to it. So I'm super excited about this. And we'll see, because I don't know if I'm going to be doing another Shea Moisture collab on my Instagram. I need to check my DMs if they respond. Sometimes when I talk to you guys about prices in the vlogs, I don't know if you guys are bored or like, why should I talk? But I want to share these things because I know I'm not alone and I'm not crazy and things are getting really expensive. And living in Toronto, I just don't feel like it's worth it. It's like overhyped. But how is this $12 in my neighborhood and $6 at Walmart? Make it make sense. I think I'm going to see Chris later. He's been, ooh, he's been in Bali for the last couple weeks or months. I don't know. I haven't seen him this year. Reminds me, I have to message Danielle. Hey girl. Yeah, I didn't buy spinach because I still got to finish that. Cherry tomatoes, bless. I got my two plantains. My stepdad got like 20 of these. And I'm like, are you serious? That's like OD, man. Gaston. And he says he has six eggs a day. I'm like, that's... My nutrition degree says that's not healthy. Did you know that you're never supposed to store your onions in the same place as your potatoes? It makes these sprout. Yeah. They should always be away from each other. And if you want to ripen your bananas, you put them next to onions. Fun fact. Fun hack. Wait till I have a new, bigger place so I can do an organization video for you and store things more wisely. Until then, we make the most of what we got. I ate a piece before you filmed it. I ruined the whole thing. No, they can't tell. Oh, is it? Yeah. Am I allowed to eat? Yes. I never know if you're taking photos of what you're doing. Uh -huh. It may not be as dark as I like, but it tastes very good. I try really hard to make sure that I do well so that when I make mistakes, I can stand in those mistakes. And I wouldn't even consider this a mistake. More of a mishap in this case. I, I'm going to lose sleep trying to figure out where I went wrong and what I did because I never want this to happen again. What can you do? You can just go for it. That's all we can do. Guys, I took this out hoping that I could cover these ugly countertops. You know how long I've had this? Since my early YouTube days when I used to do all of my flat lays. If you know, you know. But it's too short. So I might have to order one off of Amazon with the Amazon gift cards that work gave me. Speaking about work, I was so thrown by what I talked to you guys about yesterday. I barely slept. I woke up in cold sweats, turned my space heater off, and then I began to shiver for the rest of the night. So much that I actually have to take the sheets off. I just made the bed because I went to the gym earlier and I didn't want to come up to a messy unit. 
I love that I call my apartment a unit. It sounds so sterile. Maybe because it doesn't really feel like a home to me. I can't talk about it right now. It's too much. People have been hearing me over the last couple weeks and even months talk about things here and there. And probably you're like, well, it's not that big of a deal. But the truth is I never wanted to live here. I never wanted to be here in the first place. Living in a cold unit to the point where you have to wear your winter coat on Christmas night, that's not all right. And then being gaslit to be told that, oh, it's not cold. There is no draft. My thermometer says otherwise. If it's not one thing, it's another, and that gets exhausting. I wanna make a video on trauma. The only problem is I need to begin to process first so much I can say. We need to start looking at mental health the way we look at physical health. The same way you would treat a common cold or a flu or the cocoa. It's the same way when you go through the ebbs and flows of life. These sheets are so wrinkly. If you're ever like, wait, this girl's tripping off of something so tiny, it's not the actual thing. It's all the many things below the surface. And one day it'll become crystal clear to you. I just need to find the words myself so it can make sense before I try to translate it for someone else. Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. I love this stupid cover. What's new? Do, 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 do. See how things fall. Thank you.